Well, there you have it, huh? That's a pretty good mix of, uh, of, uh, damn good boomer tunes. I think so. What do you, uh, Bob, what do you think? That was pretty good, wasn't it? Hell yeah! Yeah, were you up and, and dancing and driving around a little bit? I bet you were. Huh? Hell yeah! Yeah, I knew it, I knew it. Anyway, we're going to be signing off here, gang, for what it's worth. Uh, don't take any wooden nickels out there or anything like that, you know. Uh... I've said it before and I'll say it again. We've got to be, we've got to be more, more vigil now than probably any other generation because, it got, because we're, there is so many of us and we are at a fragile age and uh, time in our lives uh, where uh, the scumbags and, uh, you know, stuff like that, they're, they're out there licking their chops and they, of course, the pharmaceuticals, they've been licking their chops for the last five, six years or longer. They can't wait to uh, get another drug. Have you ever noticed that? Every damn day it seems like you turn around on her. They got a new goofy title drug for this, that, or other things. I, you know, I, 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 I shouldn't say I don't get it because I do. It's all about the bottom line and always has been. But it's just, when is enough is enough? I mean, <laughs> and then the side effects like we talked about earlier. It's just... <laughs> Oh, man. Here's an example for you. Are you ready for this, guys? The VA just introduced, I guess, a real... Get ready now. The VA just introduced a real placebo. Whatever the hell that means, I have no idea. But having said that, let's move into another area here. Did you guys hear the big news? Huh? About the Queen? Oh, my God. The queen sprained her back. Now, I'm telling you, you might hear this on some other comedy show or something, you know. But some of these guys, they steal old Captain Boomer stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm not a big shot. I don't even probably want to be a big shot. I just want to get myself out there, that's all. Uh, because, let's face it, you know, at my age, uh, I don't know. You know, I'm standing in the checkout lane of life. Let, let's put it that way. If life was a grocery store. Anyway, here we go. Uh... Now remember, you heard it here first. You might hear it somewhere else with the, those uh, uh, so-called comedians that make millions of dollars. I don't know. I don't make millions of dollars, but I do write some good, pretty good stuff once in a while. Okay, you ready? Here you go. <laughs> uh, the Buckingham Palace for the Queen, I guess, is like it is all over. It is short-staffed. So word has it that <laughs> the Queen had to tie her own shoes and sprained her back. Oh, my God. Oh, say the queen! There you go. You heard it here first. You'll probably hear it on TV tonight by one of those so-called comedians. I don't know. Yeah. She did. She sprained her back, having to tie her own shoes, short staff, over there in jolly old England. Well, why don't one of those Harry Potter people just go over there in La Viosa uh, with a wand and uh, get her shoes tied for her uh, magically. But I guess they're not supposed to do that. Yeah, anyways, and last but not least, they've got 500 of the National Guard out there. I guess they're going to be in Wisconsin today or tomorrow uh, because of the Rittenhouse uh, uh, trial and because of the outcome. And, you know, is this going to be a regular thing now? You know, where you might not... Now, I understand George Floyd. I understand that. That was a major, major step forward in getting along with one another and treating the, the black Americans of this country, African Americans, like they should have been from day one. I understand that, 100%. But I don't understand the stuff where you got, you, the kid shot somebody or whatever, and man, we might not like the way it goes. You know, so we're gonna, have, we're gonna pull in a, a 500 National Guard. See, this is, this is what pisses me off. You take those same 500 National Guard and put them on street corners, uh, even once in a while. I don't know. Maybe just on the weekends, Friday and Saturday nights. I don't know. Up in North Minneapolis or around town and whatever. And see what happens. And then you might want to, you know, just throw in a dash of the martial law. Nobody on the streets after 9, 10 o'clock. Something like that. No, but we're content with having innocent people get shot, beautiful innocent children get shot. And I don't know if it was here or not, but I guess last week, an infant, uh, uh, a month old or less than six months old, 
uh, got shot uh, by a drive-by somewhere or whatever the hell it was and got killed sitting in its in its car seat in its mom's car now I, I don't know what it's going to take to say hey when is enough enough for let's use these national guard hey governor walls what a piece of crap he's such a chicken shit bring him in bring in the national guard no but as soon as there's a tornado or a flood or something you know they'll have the national guard go down there and help with sandbags and stuff and that's good too but where in the hell are the innocent people uh in all of this shouldn't they be somewhere on your list is, uh, to help i mean come on besides you guys are already getting paid maybe you guys want combat pay to stay out of that corner up there uh in north minneapolis i don't know but you know something could be done anyways i spilled enough god captain boomer's podcast is a military appreciation station thank you god bless all you guys and gals who are out there uh saving and protecting our uh, our freedoms and our liberties every day. Thank you very much. God bless uh, to all the gals out there, the donut dollies and all the army nurses that were in Vietnam with us. God bless you ladies. Uh, I'll always mention you on my shows. Uh, I'll never stop. Uh, because you got you gals were and still are very special. All right? Yeah. And anyway, I'm going to get the heck out of here because, you know, at the end of the day, man, I'm telling you, I still just got to... Diddy Mound. I got a Diddy Mound. Get out of here like my buddies Fred and Barney. Barney Rubble and Fred Flintstone. Here they go. They're leaving. So am I. Diddy Mound.